Hello, and apparently my game crashed. So, yeah, I need to redo this, but yeah. Uh, and nothing else, just wanted to go quickly showcase everything, so. Basically, this did not exist when I last did episode 8. And I have all these now, so. Uh, and, like, all these are completed. This is full level 5, I'm uh, sorry, 5 stars. A being ands, B being E's, and then C being S's, essentially. Love cap. Yeah, that also did not exist. Apparently, I've not beat the you know, goddess CPU battles on easy. I don't know what else I need to do for that. That that is escaping me, because I have three three hundred of that at least last time I checked, or or at least I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, that is my current commander. As for story decks, uh, I have cards like this. So yeah, frankly. Uh, using, uh, like, like, uh, for the goddess cards, which, to be fair, I have three that are literally the same. A lot of people have cards like this now, so it's, you're probably gonna die soon in online, in all honesty. Uh, but I do have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of card selectors, meaning that, by technicality, if I really wanted to, I could a lot of these. Also to showcase how far ahead I am opposed to everything else. Yeah, hi. I have basically everything outside of this, which I am essentially needing to go to one of these two attribute dungeons for that card. I oh, sorry for the final one in the line. And one of those two attributes as well for the other two in that line. Um, and basically just like... Uh, a lot of the cards I just have to simply... Hope and pray that I can get them in the attribute ones. Um, uh, it's because literally I can I can technically try, considering the fact that I can go and do, like, this, so I know, okay, don't do fire, because I have all fire. Er, same with earth. I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, you know, like, for example, with this, I know, no, oh, I need two sonics. So, since you just had two sonic and get it. So, anyway, I think I wasted about a month of time. I do have all the events just to showcase everything that I have. It It's really insane on how far on how it is now. Oh yeah, before I go and essentially do the episode, I'm going to be just not showcasing it, but I am going to be doing all that. Oh, I didn't have the sickle. Okay, cool. That's another commander. Oh yeah, as I'm doing this, as I'll go just say that I am sorry that I deleted the uh, episodes, so do not expect the later stuff to be like this. Uh, considering the fact that uh, at this point, uh, or at least at the point of the video, uh, oh, sorry, of episode 8. Originally, I did not go and beat a uh, Dragonstone, Angel Ladder, Demon Slayer, Demon's Casket, uh, and the Salem Witches. Uh, so, I have beaten them at this point, but uh, I have also been in the main storyline at this point, but. Uh, in terms of, like, say, episode 9, which I do have it processed and edited. I'm sorry, I didn't process. That's kind of why I'm re-recording this, considering the fact that then I do it. But it's just like, yeah, ha. Uh, so there's this one, which is literally the final point of 
all stories. Then I have of uh, essentially like I think that's the Tiamat fight. Uh or at least that's supposed to be the Tiamat fight. I could I could easily be wrong. Um Oh no, I believe that, that that's the Tiamat fight. Uh Right, and then like that's just card pack thing, so yeah. Uh anyway, back to the main story because I've done on long enough. So the agency went into a panic essentially after receiving the investigation report of the uh Stonehenge that was the last episode. And also I'm re recording this because I thought that I uploaded this but apparently I didn't because it's I'm not finding it in the playlist and it, it and when I checked the playlist settings unless I just for whatever reason misspelled Eternal Destiny. It should have been in and the thing, so I'm gonna assume that I didn't upload it and I accidentally deleted it. Uh so yeah, I uh while I have a few things to report which I have already reported, I am also going to be be Technically, trying to make this at least a little bit shorter, cause I know know that I did long videos essentially, and also sorry about the watermark on the other ones. At this point, I've also bought the recording software, or at least the recording software that I prefer. At that point, I hadn't. Uh, I'll say in the other episodes, oh, uh, it's between that there and a while ago I didn't so I kept forgetting about essentially how long were episodes so like I kept thinking that I was doing like 30 no I occasionally was doing like hour videos so yeah I do apologize about that and sorry if, uh, for any of the other ones and Firstly, with the regards to the Stone Edge, the ley line that in the area, yes, it didn't seem to be settled. Uh, the Red uh, Awakening of the Red Dragon Underground was the right thing to do. Yes! Because it's always Awaken a Dragon! Uh, they always just want to simply be your friends, that's all. They it would totally not attack you and try to murder you, right? Uh, I mean, seriously, uh, nothing else. You can just ask William. I, one of my D&D characters said, I'm literally just going around the world now. It's like, Hi, all dragons are my friends. I just have to go and meet them. And, because he literally has actually befriended a lot of dragons. And yet he just thinks that they're big lizards, which annoys the crap out of them. And they don't... He has not said it, so they do not know that he thinks that way, too. <laughs> oh. Next, regarding the advice uh, that the Red Dragon gave about time-stopping. Um, why are you questioning time-stopping, Patricia? Um, oh, d Patricia, do you know something about time-stopping? Uh, not in relation to Earth, but I have a feeling that I've heard about it before in some distant memory. Check those database! We need to have every single thing that, that is. So go search those databases right now. They will be very important to us. That will help us a lot. Uh, let us all... Yes, definitely let us know if you find anything. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> and that's probably going to be part of what I think it shorter. Uh, Mainly just because I have not really cared about what the heck is being said. I would just say say something along those lines. <laughs> uh, it's, in any case, the agency has now done research. Urge, and yay, we got a clue for this mystery. We need to go and find the serpent god, Yig. Uh, uh, yay, oh, yes, that would be the serpent god, Yig. How do you know? Um... Oh, uh, but I didn't really know that there was a scientist who advocates the stopping of historical time. Yay. Uh, yes. Uh, why is nobody taking Duke seriously? She is absolutely correct in this. Uh, yes, totally. We will definitely learn something important if we go and drop into Oscar. 
Uh, the agency's hopes are not wrong. Um. Uh, yes. Let's go visit Dr. Irene, because I forgot that that, that was the actual name of the scientist. <laughs> uh, let's go, and sorry for the spoiler. Uh, but, like, to be fair, it's not really much of a spoiler. Uh, it's kind of foreshadowed. Uh, at least I think think that's the case. It's been a while since I did this. <laughs> uh, and by that, I mean, like, literally before today. I haven't even played the game re really in about two years. Because uh, I think it was back in 2017 that I actually even remotely cared to play the game. N and that was mainly just when I was completed it. And now since they don't really care about the game, um, I'm not caring about the game really either. I stopped caring about it and nothing else in 2018 when it truly was obvious that it's like, there still are bugs that we've reported and they're not fixing it. Uh, I think they stopped caring about the PC version. And plus apparently according to one of the other people that I met through this game. I, they released a different version of the game. And there were more cards in there. So I think they got more care to update that game than this one. And, and so yeah. Um, let's go visit, visit that Herman of the Serpent Mound. Uh, yes, let's go investigate! Uh, yes, let's go visit the Dr. Ari. And, what do you think we would be doing, Sophie? We have to be asking about that. That is the very important reason. That's why we're heading there. Uh, okay, Beatrice, let's go! Oh, uh, I don't care if we're leaving it to you. We'll go. We're... We're in the demon's domain, so we're headed there now. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I wonder what how long this video is going to be. Uh, I don't care. Let's just brush your head without looking back. And again, I have absolutely no concern about what the heck is going on. Um, to be fair, that's pretty much how I am right now in a nutshell. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Oh, uh, well, uh, nothing else. Yes, we did arrive safely, so let's start looking for Dr. Reed's house. And or their lab, one of the two. I'm not sure which is correct. Uh, let's not care about the data. Uh, okay, lead the way, Beatrice. Let's go and visit that doctor. Okay, hopefully you're not as bad as a navigator as, as Arisa. <laughs> I I feel so sorry for that one uh, person. I always just go and nagger, like I always nagger essentially just simply for the um uh like I just always na nag uh, about her lack of direction. So yeah, she is a horrible navigator. <laughs> uh, who cares whether it's a house or a mansion or how old it looks? Let's go. Let's check out this place and nothing else. Uh, all right, fair enough. Let's just bust down this door since we knocked it down. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's just go and uh, open up this door. Let's go. Uh, yes. Let's just apologize if she if we go and add or ma mad for if people get mad for us trespassing. Uh, we are not coming in uninvited. We vi we are visiting people. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Beatrice, what the he why the heck are you being so rude? Uh, at least ask what the heck they are. I am assuming this is a knock. <laughs> Uh Oh, hello. Uh Um Yes, there are scots for snakes. Did you never hear of them? Um Um Yes, do you know the uh the Yig? Um 
We heard it from a red dragon. He was very nice and friendly. We just had to go and beat him up, up and wake after we woke him up. It was fantastic. <laughs> uh, where do we meet this person? Uh, then let's fight. Yes, that that should just be our go-to phrase at this point. And yeah, by the way, I know. Like, this definitely does showcase on how far ahead I am. Considering the fact that I'm using the low as three stars. Let's just go and murder the di director. Or use my director murder deck, essentially. Yay, it fits! Okay, play that card. And let's show you how to murder someone properly. Oh, hey, they left a very nice space for us. That's Murro. <laughs> Yay, I just dealt twenty oh two thousand. Let's say sixty thousand damage to them directly. Yay! Keep in mind, on online, that still would kill you because I don't think that you can go and get at sixty thousand. Even though I'm technically supposed to have that much HP, and I think it still would kill me if it got essentially reflected to my commander. So yeah, definitely, if it was not clear enough, this episode should not be ta taken and it's go this should not be taken like how the rest of the series is go going to be going, because I went, went and learned, and plus, I have tried to make this at least slightly entertaining for me. Uh... So, I am barely reading everything. I am just uh, speaking up my own blinds for fun. And well, I I am named Gordon. That that person over there is the main navigator. Their name is Beatrice. Uh, what more do you need to know? Oh, right. Yeah. Agents was a much better, I'm sorry, much more simple way of saying it than what I said. Yes, we are with the agency. Uh, what did you need to know? Well, yes, let's just go, because we've barely been invited in. Let's get, let's go for, yay, for breaking and entering. Oh, wait, no, we didn't break and enter. We just, we are just trespassing. Yay, yay for trespassing. Um... Yes, clearly. What do you expect from someone that's a hermit? Uh, hey, don't you dare go and question someone's taste in places. Uh, who needs to go and concern themselves with that? I mean, like, clearly. If you look at my wall, well, it's not something that I really would be concerned with people. To be fair, I also decorated my VR headset set just simply because. So, it's not like that really was much better either. Uh, Dr. Irene is right behind us. She has a tail. Uh, uh, no, no wonder why, because she's a doctor. Why do you think she would be, um, uh, wouldn't have the experimental apparatuses lined up? And just something, because something looks forward to you does not mean that it's actually for Never mind, I should have made a comment about this. Uh, who cares about modern technology? You are a hermit. You pretty much do not. If you are a hermit, you pretty much do not care about modern technology. That's why. Uh, Dr. Irene is Yig. Hello, Dr. Irene. How are you doing? That is a very nice tale you have. Uh, no, we are with the HC. Uh, we would have been stealing a whole lot more stuff for. Uh, and a whole lot faster if you were if we were burglars. Is your doctor right? Um, uh, yes, because we are with the agency. We wanted to go and fight it. We are agents. That's it. Why did we have to fight? We just had to say we were agents. That was it. We didn't have to go and do an absolute bloodbath. Hmm. Nah, it's much better to do that. Oh, 
Oh, hey, they left a paradise space for us. Uh, yay! I murdered the... Um... Yes, we are totally strong. To be fair, yes, you are not a uh, Disney professor, are you? Uh? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize you were immortal. But yes, I, I actually did spoil it. So sorry about that, because I forgot. Actually, I might just go and... Not necessarily cut it out, but... Mute it so that it's not spoiling, and I I might I might as well do that actually just so that that if you so that you guys get enough to get the surprise that we were visiting the serpent god, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yep. We have heard of you from the Red Dragon Mini Stonehenge. Uh, yes, as the stopping of historical time, like you had said, it was definitely the case. We wanted to ask you about the stoppage of historical time. What did you need to know? Oh, uh, do you know anything about it? Um, okay, do you have anything the ancient text of record? or the analysis of those that actually uh, would uh, fit that. Is there any important facts in there? Uh, oh, yes. I've, uh, so, angels and demons existing should not exist? Huh, I never would know that from my from our world. Oh, sorry. I, I say I corrected. Uh, the... The fact that they they don't show their presences in the world, I never would know. I've known that that's not supposed to be occurring. Um. Yes. Uh. The stoppage of historical time is is absolute truth now. You can't deny it. That is why the demons and, and angels are now being able to be seen. And stop it. Beatrice, a uh, stoppage of historical time does not mean that we are frozen. It just means uh, that we can't advance. Um, oh, yeah, fair. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you were thinking of the stoppage of time, not the stoppage of historical time. Um, and, yeah, th that, of course, would be, uh, be angels and demons. Um... Uh, Let's go to the resurrected ruins! Yay! Uh... Oh, so we're all dead now! Good to know that I didn't even... been good to have to do anything to die in this! Yay! Uh... Let's stop... Let's start time again for it to stop the catastrophe! Uh... What do we have to do? I mean, like, seriously, you we just have to stop, start historical time again. And that's all we have to do. So let's find the infinite sacrament and then wish for historical time to start again. That will be a, a very important thing. That's all we have to do. Uh, I'm sure the agency knows where the heck the infinite sacrament is. Uh... And what's the map supposed to be for? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, what magical circles are we needing to go do then? Um, what? Why are you giving it to us if we don't? If you don't know? Okay, fair enough. I, I mean, I probably won't make sense of it anyway. But still, that would. And nothing else, we probably could give it to the agency to investigate. Uh, yep, let's just go and report. Thank you, Yig. Uh, do more research. Have fun. Um, time to head back. Oh, right, yes, agency headquarters. <laughs> I remember this would be 
I remember this one being entertaining. <laughs> and what hypothesis? It's absolutely true. It, it is the exact reason why we are here. There's, there's no way that's not uh, that headquarters should be denying it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go visit the director now. Uh, okay. Let's go. Just give it to the director as we're there. So, yay. Uh, well, I have been doing the, I am the best agent and especially out of the newbies. Why wouldn't I be go, going in and being asked by the director to come in? And to it totally wouldn't be just simply due to plot convenience. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's totally that, uh... And it's totally not due to plot convenience that I have no missions at this time. Um, so let's go! Oh. Okay, so who's for Kyoto, Japan? Um. Uh. Okay, yes, but, uh, who would be the case? Uh, can I go alone? I would rather not have the person that goes and gets lost all, all the time. Pretty much. Actually, now that I think about it, was there ever a time that she wasn't getting lost in this? Uh, I, I, I think that that's actually a very good question. I, I, I don't remember if there was a time that she was not getting lost. I think she was always either asking me on which way to go, or she was lost. I us I think that that was literally uh, what occurred on all the time when it was her. Do we have to bring you, Arisa? Uh, no. Let's just go in our outfits. Uh, it's we don't have time to prepare. Uh. Okay, and you didn't change what. Uh. That that is one of the things about this game that I hate as well. The fact that uh, literally it's like, oh, go prepare. Give me a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting. She did not change outfits. Yeah, actually no. Now that I think about it, she might have actually she changed outfits, but similar to me with the white with white like white t-shirts. I essentially have so many. Uh, she probably could have so many of that exact same outfit that she j changed outfits. It's just that it doesn't look like she changed outfits. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's go in. Uh, not really. Let's just go in anyway. Because we probably don't care. Uh... Okay, and if it's in Cyber's Domain, then why is it being in um, Kyoto? Oh, any sort going to stop any sort of criticism from kills and demons. Um. Okay. Well, to be fair, if a human tried to go up against an angel or a demon, I'm pretty sure the angel or the demon would win, like, nine times out of ten. Unless that one person is absolutely crazy or a superhuman. In which then they probably are not even human in the, in the first place. And therefore I can technically go and murder it. Um... So, yeah. Uh. And you could just repeat Sylphie's stuff. Like, why? Was there even a point to this? We should have just headed it into there. Uh. Okay, so for once you've actually proven yourself to be useful. Thank you for making me not need to go, go through the security check. Uh, let's go. Let's go get lost. Okay, why? 
Uh, oh, probably not. Uh, seriously? <laughs> like I said. Okay. Sure. Oh. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's just go by. Uh, yeah, I, I'm ready to leave. What? Uh, yep, yeah, time to battle, essentially. Oh, right, yeah. This is the point. Yeah, there will be an interesting point in this. Alright, cool. Mismatch. Play on the regular. And just murder. Uh. Thank you. Your performance was beautiful, too. Oh. Oh, good luck with uh, it's making a large flower bloom due to dancing. Ariso, why do, would you have expected this? Basically, every single time we've had to deal with someone. We've had to fight them. Why are you now being surprised about this? Uh, yep, let's go. Onward. Probably it's your fault. Like, seriously. How do you always get this freaking lost? Yeah, seriously. Arisa, how did you get this lost? Uh, is there someone we can help? Okay, yes, thank you. Hey, person ra on the radio, can you help us? Uh, okay, Mr. Uh, okay, you freaking penguin. And of course we're lost. Arisa is being our navigator. Even I, I do not know that place. Even I probably would be able to fi find said place faster than her. Like, seriously. She is a terrible navigator. Err. Uh, err. Uh, okay, yes, final. Finally. Uh, Mr. Penn. Her institution is literally the only thing that is spot on. She is a horrible navigator. Okay, so, yep. Sorry about the other pause that I have no idea what the heck I was talking about before I paused it. Uh, essentially, oh, uh, Wheel of Fortune game um, was done, I uh, said it was being done by my brother and dad, pretty much. Or at least there's a mobile game for Wheel of Fortune that they play. He wanted help essentially by the... Hi, let's enter into Notepad what we have. Have it technically be paused and then uh, go and play the game. Or at least see what what is possible. And then solve. Oh, that always doesn't work. But usually it does. Uh, and or we just feel like idiots after the thing gets solved. Oh, uh, yes, please help us. As Arisa got us lost in the, in the headquarters. Uh, and you didn't think to go and help us earlier. Screw you too, Mr. Penn. And... Uh, Arisa, you haven't been changing or anything, so, by technicality, he's not a perv. If, if you're changing, essentially, or doing, uh, or if he was looking underneath your skirt, then, then yes, you could call him perv. It just depends on where he's been watching, essentially. Uh, yeah, uh... <laughs> Uh, compliments! Great a per way to make every single person not 
be ashamed of what the heck they are. Uh, uh, yes, flattery does not get you, does not get anyone anywhere. So yes, thanks for your help, essentially, Mr. Penguin. <laughs> and all right. Uh, okay. So, North, up on the stairs. Uh, okay. I swear you went. Someone went and cut that. Uh. Which way is north? Uh, that way! Uh... Um, uh, let's go left! Um... Don't go b let's not go back. Uh... Let's see, uh, go back or... Screw it! Let's go straight into the net, that end. And I don't care. Let's just charge through the dead end. Let's go and break our heads. And yep, let's go. Why are you le Why are you saying about talking about leaving this world? We're just trying to head first into a wall. That won't kill us totally. Uh. Um, where, yeah, exactly, that is a good question. Where are we? Hello, director. <laughs> uh, sorry that we are here and we, that we just busted through the wall. Uh, really? How dare you? Uh, uh, just seriously. Uh, what is going on? Uh, like, what's going on is she trapped her room to where we had to run through a, oh, a dead end, or at least through a wall. What else do you do you expect? Though to be fair, there is an interesting about names in this, but I am not gonna say things about them. Um, uh, nice. Okay, that's a good test of your abilities. Is, but I will actually see this that I do find it amazing how this game actually does uh, make everything essentially fit the names, um, or at least the types fit the names. Um, yes. Uh, okay. Um, what is a superior agent? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, well, she gets lost all the time, to be fair, so, yeah. I, I think that she, that it's just hard to, if we're still a good agent and we're dealing with Arisa getting lost. I mean, when you have to deal with someone getting lost anyway, it's, it's always hard. Er, uh, not necessarily. Uh, uh, but, thank you, but, let's just do the map anyway, there's totally not gonna be anything bad about it. Okay, fair enough. And that does explain on why Mr. Ping had got cut off, I swear you had something to do with that, that, Sashi Kiki, uh, uh, Warshi. Uh, yes, let's go ahead. Uh, yes, let's just stand on the map to them. Um, alright, let's go on vacation! Yeah! Uh, thank you! Uh, and so I can actually finally go and get to where I'm about to end the episode, yeah! Because I know for a fact that Episode 9 essentially starts off immediately after this. So, I guess I just did a chapter. Uh, 
Yes, uh, t of course it's blue, s clear blue skies. Guys, it's an anime type thing, and we're on a beach. H, why wouldn't we have a bountiful, s boundless sea of a uh, clear blue skies, warmth of sun rays, uh, and essentially just like be on an island? I mean, actually, yeah, that that is a good question. Why is Sylphie here? Uh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if you're on vacation, that doesn't matter, but, like, by Tank County, why did you go on to vacation at the exact same time? Yes. Uh, so let's go to the beach, uh, at least after we put down the luggage. Uh, it's probably a normal one. Oh. Uh, well, I don't think else. You probably have seen her swimsuit. Uh, cause like all of these, A's, all as in, like the domain navigators, they always just have their well, they have their swimsuits essentially as their E's. A's, so like currently they're in their N forms, then they're gonna be in their E's. So yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh, of course she's embarrassed. She, she's a Cinderella. What do you expect? Uh, um, you kind of, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot, uh, it's not, uh, bad thing, it's just, yeah, no. uh, uh, of course, uh, oh, uh, I, I keep forgetting about stuff, the only no domain navigator that I actually even decently use is Larissa. And that's mainly just because, unfortunately, it's unfortunate to say that, but there's not many good cyber cards. Or at least there's not many good low-cost cyber cards. A lot of the good cyber cards are higher cost, such as, as like, 5 to 10. And mainly on, like, t the 10. Either that or it's like, hi, play this one card. Evolve it. Evolve, then go in and evolve the E. And now it's a good card, essentially. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to be fine at what it is. Uh, just say your thing there. Oh, well, we already know how this we go. Oh, and also I was apparently surprised. I'm oh, sorry, I was also apparently wrong on the last one. So yeah. Uh. Okay, why is it fine if it's specifically me, not anyone else, though? Oh, Beatrice, what do you expect? We act everywhere we go. We have to do a battle. That is just the way it is. Let's, let's go. Um. Uh, all right, just time to beat Arisa. And time for Patricia. Wait, wait. I forget on whether or not I have her. I. Not that I think about it, I don't think I do. I could easily be wrong, though. Mm. Yeah, let's just do that. Hey, you left a nice door open. Bye! Uh. Bye, uh, Arisa. Yep, definitely. Uh, I mean, that is one time that, that it actually is pretty accurate. Sure, I will go easy on you. Hmm. Where is that deck? Um. Sure. Let's go to this one. 
Uh, that way I don't go and just absolutely murder her first. Alright, so then... Do you have a good effect for that? No, not really. Yeah. Just place her there. Alright, and time to attack up the middle. See, like I said, go eat easy by using, I think, a. I'm not sure what level that card is. I forgot about that glitch. Oh, level oh, three. Fair enough. Uh. Anyway, just. Murder. Bye. Hey, like I said, I went easy on you. You actually survived a hit. You actually took a hit. Uh. Uh. You. Beatrice, do you not know how this works? <laughs> oh, she is going to be absolutely demolished. So, first, there, there. Bye! Just absolutely demolished. Uh, sh yes, totally. Uh, yep. Time to destroy Sylphie. Oh, hey, there's actually cards for this stuff. Okay, yeah, just turn them in. Alright, so. Let's see you take a. take. 21 to the face. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, now that I'm back from. essentially what. Uh, the rest of my family knew me, slash wanted me to go and see. Uh, of course, if they lost, because I am a protagonist, so yeah, obviously everybody has to lose to me. Uh, yep, let's just go and see this cliche. Uh, of course they're ready. Uh, a race that seems to be the most ready. Uh, I mean, I, I swear, a is just... Wait, hold on. Did, did, okay, with how excited Arisa is or was, I would I swore it would have been her, not Sophie, that had said it. And Cecilia, at least she's like, yeah, okay. Beatrice. <laughs> with Beatrice, it's not like we really expected anything else, else to be said from Sudere. Uh, yeah. Time for vacation! And we just assumed that the agent's also in the swimsuit. Uh, yes, yeah, not one like, but just probably a typical one. Um, oh yeah, for, I can't forget that, uh, Arisa's, like, and nothing else petite. Uh, she probably would be considered a lolly, to be honest. Though, to be fair, this game was also made before a lot of the stuff about lolly lollies get actually went to be big and huge and a thing. Or at least, like, this huge issue, essentially. So, yeah. To be fair, now they probably would change age how Beatrice is, but, yeah. Too late. But, yeah, nothing else. This is the vacation. Well, to be fair, it actually... Uh, it's not necessarily the sun's giving you tail lights. It's how much you spend in the sun. 
Um, and essentially just like, how much do you essentially go and try to go get a tan? Um, well, most people, if they are, oh, sorry, most guys, which I'm assuming that this person's a guy just simply due to the fact of the, well, one, that, two, oh, a couple things later on, on, which, to be fair, there probably wouldn't be issues if, if the person was a girl anyway, so, yeah. I'm gonna assume that the character is a guy. So, yeah. I guess see this.